this is Nelly Deutsch and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from 3.10 to 3.11 in a few steps using Soft Ticklus. This is the test site which means that I try things out. It's not a production site for um, visitors but you can try things out. If you like just let me know in the comment box below and I'll let you try things out. So notice is 3.10.4 going to click on the upgrade. Notice uh, the backup really important. You want to back everything up before you do anything. Full backup and then make sure that you're getting the right version. Click on the upgrade and wait while it's happening. Now if there's anything missing on your system it'll let you know by giving you an error message, but everything seems to be working just fine. It generally goes up to 95%. You never really see 100, at least I've never seen it. So wait a little bit longer until it actually finishes. And be patient because it does finish. It just may take a while. If you've got a really huge site, like one of my sites is really huge, it could take over an hour and sometimes even longer. So it could be very, very frustrating, but patience usually wins out. So be patient. This is still going even though it's 95%. So make sure that you wait. This could take time. As I said, upgrading Moodle is really exciting for me. <laughs> it's like a special day especially when it's a major upgrade. Right now it's all in the threes, so it's not that great. But once we hit four, for example, it's going to be really exciting. And I've been doing this since one point something or other. I started in 2003, I don't really remember, but it was before two point and so on. A lot of things have happened since then and Moodle is getting better and better thanks to everyone involved. Notice I did see the 99. Okay, so um, I think it's ready for me to hit the admin. So let's do that now. Going to take me to the site. Notice it's coming up depending on your connection of course. Notice what we're getting here is 3.11. We're going to hit continue and keep going until it's done. Notice everything is fine. All the server checks are okay, except for this one. You might want to take care of it. Notice it's not a major one, but you should take care of anything that is written in. So notice that's just a recommendation and you should follow all the recommendations. So let's continue and we'll take care caller. of that later on. So let's go on to the next step. Just scroll all the way down and head on the next step, upgrade Moodle database now. If you wait around, you could do it later, that's fine. Every time you go into the admin, it'll prompt you to continue, but I wouldn't do that unless you really have something urgent to do and you don't have the time to go through the process. As I said, if it's a huge site, it's going to take longer, but this site is not huge by any means, since uh, the only user is me. It's not a production site. Notice it's going through everything, all the plugins that are available on my Moodle site by alphabetical order. And they'll be coming up, as I said, because this is going to the next step, it's not a major upgrade, but it's going from 3.10 to another digit, which is 3.11. It um, will require more time. I'll let you know the log store standard is the final one. It always is. So look for that and then the continue button, of course, which always makes me feel great. Because I know that uh, that's it. We're on our way to 3.11. You also need to make sure that your theme works. You might want to go to a basic boost theme before you do the upgrade. Notice I did not do it. I took a chance, but you should not. Right now, I'm using a theme that I generally trust that it's upgraded, and that's 
Fortson generally upgrades its theme so that there aren't any problems, but nonetheless, go to the basic, boost whatever or whatever else it is, and then do the upgrade. So notice here uh, are some features that um, I might want to look at, make sure that everything is the way I want it to be. All the yeses are indeed yeses that I want. I generally go through the whole thing and just uh, check things out later on. And then, of course, there's the save at the bottom. Save changes. And that's it. We're done. And now we have 3.11, if you don't believe me. There it is. 3.11. Notice it started in 1999. And thank you to all the developers and, of course, to Martin de Giamis for starting Moodle. So this is Fortson, and we're ready to start playing around with the plugins uh, just to see if everything is uh, upgraded and working properly. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comment box below and subscribe.